Hello, Tubbies. Oh my God, I'm getting too old for this crap. What is our next topic to talk about today? Let's find out. You're like, there's supposed to be a video explaining this oil coming next. Yeah, we'll get to it. Just calm down. Um, so I have an issue with the community. You're like, oh God, here we go again. What is your issue this time? It's very simple. We don't come together as a community in any kind of meaningful way because we're too selective. Or we don't wanna share our craft. Or we don't wanna do this, or we don't wanna do that, or we just... And to be honest with you, there isn't much of a community if we're not coming together, right? I have been asking myself this question for months. And I've been asking you all this question for months. Why isn't there a witchy community? Tequila is gone. And everybody gravitated towards her. We ask that the spirits are here. Accept my offering, my sacrifice. JK, JK, right though? my sacrifice. What would I sacrifice? Where are my cats? Let's sacrifice one of them. JK people, calm down. Oh, we just, we just ask that the spirits are here with us during these very troubling times. Okay. And we have this candle. Mm, I like this candle. We're going to dress it with a little bit of olive oil and just a little bit, people. Give me that a little more. A little bit more. We're just going to work this oil all around this candle. This candle still has its smell, which is nice. You can work these giant candles. At this particular time of year, with the spirits, Right? We have to give thanks to them, especially on this sacred and hallowed of days. Oh. I don't hear much about what witches do on Halloween. Because again, we're selective with what we choose to share, with the information that we want to put out there. And that's not bad. None of that's bad. It's okay to not want to share your craft so publicly on the internet. It really is. I don't have a problem with that. And don't for a second think that I do, because I doesn't. But I think it's one of the reasons why we don't have a community. Some of us watch other people. Some of us don't watch other people. Some of us are very selective about who we watch and the types of information that we want. So we build our own communities based off of our own information and the things that we want to share and so on and so forth. I just, I feel like with Tequila, when she was a part of the witchy community, that she was some sort of central, or cent, cent, central? <laughs> no, central figure or something, maybe. So, I don't really know where I was going with this. I just kind of wanted to share that I sort of figured out why, because when I did a live chat many, many months ago, I talked about this. And Lunar Wisdom was in the chat section and she had said that she's very, because I had asked in this live chat, I was like, why don't we just come together? And she had said that, She's very selective with who she shares her magic with. And I had said that I think a lot of witches are like that. I'm very selective with who I share my magic with. But is that detrimental to forming a community or relationships or? I don't think so because I think we all kind of form our own inner circles here on the internet, right? 
At least that's how I perceive it. I don't know, do you people perceive it differently? I'm going to go and bless this candle and offer it to the spirits and light it. And I'll be back eventually because we're going to work a spellbreaker jar. Like, why not? Just bless this here. We're gonna call upon the elements to do it. You're like, is that next? Is that what the oil is for? We've been waiting for videos now. Shh, my little children, shh. The devil is coming to play.